Tadam! Okay, um, I've been getting a lot of requests about slow feeding. Way before um, in competitions, they would slow feed electric grinders, right? This is to maximize the capability of the grinder to get better results. Well, recently, um, people have been doing it with the hand grinders as well. So, and this is, um, this is one of the most requested grinders on the channel for me to do a slow feeding test, right? This testing will be a multi, um, it's, it's going to be a multi-part series of slow feeding different grinders. So for today's video, we're gonna try and test slow feeding a King Grinder K6. So for this test, we're gonna do 15 grams of coffee grounds and we're gonna do a control first. Right, so for this test, we're gonna do 15 grams of coffee and we're gonna grind it at 90 clicks for the King Grinder K6. Right, so let me just set my grinder. Okay, 60, 70, 80, and 90. Okay, now we're gonna get 15 grams. Right, so that is um, 15 grams. Now we're, we're just gonna do it like the normal way. Okay, so this is going to be our control. Oops. Right. Well, the slow feeding, the, the actual goal of slow feeding is um, people say that you can actually minimize the amount of microfine particles that you get in your um, coffee ground. So, yeah. So we're gonna test it with a crew sifter today. Um, the sieves that I have right now, the filters that I have right now is 1,100 microns and 300 microns at the bottom. Oh, there's more. Now we're gonna shake. We're done shaking. So this is going to be our control. And we are only going to, and we're only gonna measure the microfine particles. Okay. Gonna put it okay there. There we go. Okay, so now we have here okay, we have 0.4. Okay, that is our control. With the same settings, we're gonna do the with the same settings, we're gonna do the slow feeding. Um there are two ways to do this. One is um, you literally put the coffee beans slowly. So this is going to be possible with the K6 because we can actually remove the hopper cover of the K6 there and just leave the crank handle. Okay. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do for now. Um, we're gonna literally slow feed the coffee beans. So we're just gonna put just a couple, then grind, and then another. Thank you. 
Okay. I think that's it. Right. Now we're gonna use the crew sifter again to see if there is an effect. Seems like, wow! Okay. Okay, that was 0 0.2. 0 0.2 grams, wow! We actually, we actually managed to remove half of the microfine particles just by doing that. Now I want to test the other, um, the other way to do your slow feeding. Okay, now we're going to put back the hopper cover okay and then this time we're gonna put all the coffee beans in but here is the catch for this way uh, for this method of slow feeding we are going to grind we are going to hold the grinder like this and then we're gonna tilt slightly from time to time so that we are feeding coffee beans one by one, right? There, we're done. Now we are going to put it in the crew sifter again for the last time and see if there is any difference. Oh wow, this looks way different than the other two. Okay, we'll see in the, um, we'll see in the final weighing. Right? Okay, again, we're just gonna weigh the microfine particles. Ooh, I think this looks way less than the other two. Not sure, but visually it looks less. Oh, okay. It's the same, it's 0.2 grams oh okay so there really is a difference when you do a slow feeding this conclusion is just for the king rider k6 the slow feeding works on the king grinder k6 all right we managed to um we managed to remove half of the microfine particles just by slow feeding um, with the King Grinder K6. If you grind it um, normally upright like this, um, you would get, for a 15 gram dose, you would get 0.4 microfine particles, 0.4 grams, right? But if you slow feed it, you tilt it just a little bit, or you just put small batches in and then grind. Um, you can actually um, reduce the microfine particles to 50%. Oh, huh? 0.2. It's not moving. Right. So, that's it for this episode. Again, this test is for the King Grinder K6 only. Um, I will be doing the slow feeding test to other grinders that I have right now. So, in the future in the future slow feeding series i'll be doing a commandante c40 a commandante x25 trail master easy presso zp6 easy presso q air and a lot more different grinders so watch out for that right so for now thank you so much for watching in the next videos i'm gonna show you more about coffee Bye!